Welcome back to Periodic Surf Coat. So this video is for those of you that are building one of the DIYsurfboardkits.com fish surfboards. Now this is a 511 fish, it is an absolutely killer board, but there is maybe some confusion about how to go about getting the fish tail installed into the frame. And this is the video that will clear up all of that. Now, when you're building a fish surfboard, you're basically going to get all the way up until this stage following the standard build procedure. And then we're going to start focusing on the tail. Now, what is this stage? Well, it is the frame kit is fully assembled and the bottom skin is glued on with our fin support material in place. Now, the paper template that is included in the kit has a really good guide for the shape of the tail. It is entirely up to you if that's the shape you follow, but no matter what shape you decide to go for, the process is basically the same. All right, so I've got you zoomed in at the tail here so you can see what we're working with. Unlike our other frame kits, on the fish, you can see that the center spine terminates a lot earlier than the side spines, and that is where our fish tail comes into play. So if I fold over our paper template, you can see that what we're looking for is this nice, gentle outside radius sort of curve where we come from the center spine out to the very tip of the side spine. To fill in this fishtail, we're gonna use some steam bending of just offcuts from the deck that we've ripped down to be the same height of our center spine, so 20 millimeters. To bend the wood, you could just use the edge of the bench, and that's what we did on this first test piece, but you can see it does create a little bit of a sharper a bend in those areas which are on the edge of the bench. So if you can find something that's round here, I've got a faceplate off an old lathe, but you know, a paint can or something like that, which is at least a fairly decent diameter, you can use that to really gently bring your bend in and keep things symmetrical. So with the wood nice and soaked, we can just wrap that in a tea towel and heat it up using the steam from the hot iron. So basically you just keep doing this until you're confident that everything is nice and hot, but don't go so far that all of the water evaporates and you're no longer left with steam. Now this will be hot, so if you have sensitive hands, some thick gloves is a good idea, but I've got asbestos fingers myself. So here you can see just how easily that conforms to this steel ring. So I just hold it there for the count of about 30 seconds until all the heat's gone. And this piece will have a nice memory, which should match the shape of the tail really well. Okay, so that's basically cooled down now. And as we let go, you can see we've got a nice bend, which we can position in such a way that it basically matches the tail shape perfectly. We'll do that twice, one for both sides, and then we basically just glue it in place. And once the glue is set, we come in with a hand plane and we plane from the high side to the low side until the profile matches the rest of the board. And to do this, you're going to start right at this end here, take multiple passes, just short lifting before it gets to the end, and then as it gets lower and lower, your passes will get longer and longer. All right, so that is basically all there is to installing the fish rail. Now, once this is done, you apply your top deck just as you would normal, trim it with your router, apply your rails, and the only difference with the rail application is that you're also gonna do bent lamination for the fish shape itself. The outside rail is the same, it's just you've now got an inside rail to contend with. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. So if you've liked it, make sure you click that thumbs up button and leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all of our DIY wooden surfboard building tips and tricks. Cheers guys, see you next time.